Good morning, students. So today again we are here with the new online class. Today uh, in series of learning in surface area volume. Today we will touch the topic sphere and hemisphere. Okay. So first we will discuss about surface area of a sphere and hemisphere. Now uh, just think about a sphere that like, like you have seen uh, basketballs, footballs, many of the sphere shapes around you. So uh, it is like a, a circle, four-dimensional circle. Okay. I'm just thinking it like right now. See, <coughs> it is a horizontal on the horizontal plane. It is like this, and on the vertical plane it is also round. Okay. Now just try to imagine it's this surface area. Okay. Now how to uh, imagine its surface area? See. Suppose for CSA curved surface. Now there is no top, no bottom, as you can see. Okay, like if I will uh, ask you, then how to put a football straight? Okay, you can answer that question because there is a no top, no bottom. Either there is a some written uh, logo on it on the football. You can say up to that that it is right or uh, wrong to place it. Okay, on which place it is back and which place it is top, that you can say only by seeking or that observing that name written on it. Else you can't say. Okay, or you can't determine its top and bottom. Okay, so it is difficult to determine the top and bottom of a sphere. Okay, because it is all around. Okay, suppose uh, think about a lemon. Okay, if you cut lemon horizontally, you got two circle surfaces. Okay, and you if you cut it through its vertical point, again you got two circle surfaces. So in all this four dimension, it is circle only. So when you see a ball from top, it is circle in two D. Okay, if you see it from the bottom, again it is circular. So its CSA is four pi r square. Why is it four pi r square? Because it's all from side to from horizontal surface and two from vertical surface, it is all round like a circle. And if we talk about TSA also, since there is no top no bottom, its CSA and TSA are same four pi r square. Remember, students, in sphere and hemisphere, the TSA and CSA it is the only shape whose TSA and CSA are same. Okay. Just a moment. This is we talked about sphere here. Let's talk about hemisphere. Okay. Now what is hemisphere? Just the half of this is sphere. If we cut it down, it's part from one side. Okay. The object we got is from 3D. Is hemisphere. Now in hemisphere, see. It is length and width wise. Both is cut it by described by this radius. Okay. Here also we describe from the center the distance from all of its sides are equal. That is radius. Okay. From this 3D also. Okay. Now in hemisphere, the CSA of hemisphere is just half of the hemisphere, which is 2 pi r. But if we talk about TSA, as you can see, it is the it is having a base, it is having a bottom. Like a circle, okay. Since it is having a bottom, its TSA is 2 pi r plus pi r square of the base 3 pi r square is the TSA of hemisphere. So this is the difference between hemisphere and sphere. That hemisphere having a bottom, but sphere doesn't have. Okay. Now let's see few questions on it. Okay. <coughs> Suppose we need to find the surface area of a sphere of radius 14. Okay. Example one. What it is called? What it says that find the surface area of a sphere of radius 14 cm. Now remember one thing. Whenever surface area only okay, in all, also in a, a different question also, whenever it is asked for surface area, you will find total surface area. Okay, but since in sphere the CSA and TSA, both surface areas are equal in formula. We assume as it's uh, as any of them. Okay? Like surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square. 
Again, what value of pi we can put? Since r is multiple of 7, so we can put 20 divided by 7. Don't cut it without squaring the 14 first. So what I am doing here is, I am just factorizing it in two parts. Okay, 7 to the 14. Now just multiply it, 20 to 4 is 88 and 14 to 8 is 28. Okay, now just multiply it. Okay, 28 is a, one time you only need to multiply it. 28 is 160 and 8 is 64. So 28 is 160 and 64, that is 224. 224, 22 can carries. Again, 224, because again 28 is there. Okay. So, <coughs> so 24 and 22 will be 246. So 2464 centimeter square will be the surface area of that spherical ball. Okay. <coughs> Let's see a question based on uh, hemisphere. Okay. Let's see one more example of sphere first, then we move on to hemisphere. I'm just rubbing it. Now surface area of a sphere is given to us. It is given us double by double four centimeters square. Double by double four centimeters square. We need to find the diameter of the sphere. Okay, so again we have putting 4 pi r square equal to double by double four, 5544. Then we keep the value of pi also, r square, double by double four. Okay, this 70 goes up. In multiplication to double five double four. Double five double four. And this twenty twenty four will come in denominator. Now just see. Uh, now see the technique of cancelling both the numbers. See, first you can cancel it by twenty two itself. Or if you don't know the twenty two table, you can cancel it by eleven. Two za, eleven five za, zero za, and eleven four za. Okay, 2 for the 8, else you can cancel it by 8 or else you can cancel it by 2 for like this. So I am cancelling it by 8. Okay, 8 6 are 48, 2 will remain, 24 will 8 will become. Okay, 8 6 are 24, it will cancel the whole thing. 7 into 63. Okay, R is square, 7 into 63. See, 63 is 7 9 za, and 9 I can write 3 square. So 7 square 3 square is R square. So R comes plus minus 7 is 21. This is your radius and diameter obviously double of the radius that is 42 centimeters. So these are your answers. Okay, got it? See, doing factorization is an easy type of approach to solve the question to get the answer very quickly. Again, if you do multiplication of it, then you try to find out the square root of the whole number. It is difficult to solve. Okay. In this kind of question, you can just separate it, factorize the number and take the square root parts. Okay. Now let's come to hemisphere questions. Okay. These are sphere questions. The sphere questions are a bit easier. Okay. Because the CSA and PSA are saying that's why the problem occurs in that. A hemispherical ball made up of brass has inner diameter 10.5. Now, see, it is a hollow. It is talking about a hollow hemisphere. A hemispherical bowl is here. Okay, so I made a bowl here of inner diameter 10.5 centimeter. Okay, maybe it has auto diameter as well. Find the cost of tin plating it on the inside at the rate of 4 rupees per 100 centimeters. The rate of tin plating is 4 rupees per 100 centimeters. Okay. Now it's all actually talking about the inner surface only, not the outer. Now remember, you all are eating Maggie or something in the bowl. Okay. Why I am remembering Maggie? Because Maggie is the uh, most uh, eatable choice of the youngsters nowadays. That's right. Okay, so the rate is 4 rupees per 100 centimeters square. We just try to find out its CSA. Okay, the CSA of the hemisphere we all have 2 pi r square. We'll find it 2. Now, pi we can keep as 22 by 7 all, uh, again because 10.5 is also a multiple of 7. Okay, and here I am uh, writing 10.5 by 2 square because. Uh, R is the half of diameter, diameter which given to us 10.5 here. 
again, I am writing 44 by 7, I just want to get 2 and 22, and 10.5 I am writing it twice, and 2 is twice. From 4, this will cancel from 11, and here 7 comes out 7, 5. 1.5, 10 cancel. Now just multiply it. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, first multiply the bigger numbers. So 1.5 I am keeping here, I just multiply 11 to 10.5. And then for at least 55, 11, 0, 0, and 55, and 11, 0, 11. Again, I am multiplying it with 50 now. Forget the decimal. 15, 5 is 75, 15, 5 is 75, and 7 is 82. Uh, 8 carry 8, 51, 15, and 8, 23, 51, 15 to 17. Decimal will comes after 2 digit because 1 1 digit is after decimal. So 173.25 centimeter square is the CVC. Okay, weight we are having so cost of tin plating inside. Okay, tin plating. Okay, inside the ball is 4 rupees per 100 into 172.25. See again, I we have to. Uh, Make some logic. Then I will divide the number. So I just divided this 100 by 4, it gives me 25. Then I divided it. 25 the whole number. Now see 25 table is a bit easier. 25 6 is 150. So 6 150, 150 times get cancelled. 23 remaining which carry forward. Okay, which carry forward, that's why decimal comes. Okay. Then 23 carries 232. 25, 8 is 100, 25, 9 is 225. Okay, again it gets cancelled, 225. So that's 7 remaining, 25, 3 is 70. So 6.93 rupees is the cost of tin plating the hemispherical box. Okay, that's how you can get your answer. Bit easier to find it, 6.93, it is correct. Galathamara Atavi. Check. Now we move on to some more typical type of questions of sphere and atmosphere. I'm just rubbing it. Okay, see carefully. This is only the last topic, last few topics. Uh, if you go through the uh, reference book, there are a lot more questions of uh, recastination and there are few questions which are based on uh, the different uh, combination of shapes. Uh, but uh, in my opinion, this type of question will come in 10th class only. In 9th class, we don't need to uh, do such type of uh, big questions, uh, you can see. Only surface area and volume related of uh, different shapes can be asked in the examination. So don't panic by seeking the questions. Okay, one more question of uh, hemispherical, you can see. A cylinder of same height and radius is placed on the top of a hemisphere. Okay. On the top of a hemisphere, on the top of a hemisphere, there is a cylinder of same radius and height is placed. Okay. So the radius of both are same, cylinder and the hemisphere. Then what is saying? He is saying that uh, find the uh, curved surface area of the shape. If the length of the shape be 7 cm, okay, the length of the shape be 7 cm, okay. Now, uh, what will be the height of the cylinder? That is a question. Since the height of our hemisphere is equivalent to radius, why is it equivalent to radius? It is equivalent to radius because the distance from the bottom to the center of the cross section of that hemisphere is equivalent to the radius. So that this height of the cylinder also equivalent to radius. Okay, the total height is given as 7. Now, see, if we apply logic here, so this r plus r, 2r is equal to 7, so r comes 7 by 2, 3.5 cm. So you can easily determine the radius. Radius is not given in the question, but you need to apply the uh, logic here that uh, the height of the cylinder is equivalent to the height of the hemisphere and there is no height in the hemisphere hemisphere only having radius depth is also equivalent to radius so that the depth itself is the height which is equivalent to radius so now uh, we have to find the surface area of the uh, solid here okay which is CSA it is asked so CSA of solid 
CSA of solid. It is CSA of cylinder plus hemisphere. Okay. Now see. CSA of cylinder is 2 pi R square. You can you know. Hemisphere of CSA is 2 pi R square. Now, since H is equal to R square, so 2 pi R into R is R square again. 2 pi R square, 2 pi R square, 2 pi R square is 4 pi R square. Now keep the value here. 4 pi 22 by 7 or 7 by 2 twice. Okay, this 2, 2 is 4 cancel by this 4, 7 cancel by 7, 22 by 7 is 154 centimeter square. That is the answer. Now see, it is very funny. Okay, why it is funny? Because the, see here you can see the cylinder and hemisphere equivalent to the CSO of the sphere. See, 4 pi is the one again. And 4 pi r square, as, you, as we all know, that 4 pi r square is the formula for CSA or TSA of sphere. So, see, in mathematics, you can determine that how, how shapes are equivalent to each other. Okay? So, this is, these are the types of questions. Now, we will talk about, in this lecture only, we will talk about uh, volume of the sphere and hemisphere. Okay? Volume of hemisphere and sphere, only formula we will write, then the question we will see in the next video because there are uh, very deep questions of volumes in sphere and hemisphere. Let's see. See, volume already we know that volume is the space occupied by uh, distinct object. Okay, like in sphere, okay, there are only three dimensions because it's a 3D shape. Okay, and one is outside it, like this, okay. So the volume of sphere, as you can see, we have seen that four kind of surfaces uh, it carries. So four kind of surfaces divided in three dimension, okay. Pi r square into a radius is divided, because the third radius is outside it. So that four by three pi r two is the volume for sphere and in hemisphere in hemisphere as you can see it is only the half of exactly half space occupied uh, from sphere so it is 2 by 3 pi r q always remember in sphere there are since they are the three dimensional object so centimeter cube or cube powers will come in pi r square h in cylinder also r, r square h both are dimension so square and one has become thrice power so it's always like that okay so these are the formulas for sphere and hemispheres volumes we can see question in our next videos okay how to uh, find their volumes and uh, what kind of questions can come in the examination based on this uh, topics okay we'll discuss it till then be careful be safe okay and keep studying okay have a nice day thank you